Okay, so once I've connected this node, the next thing I'm gonna do is go into the power windows and I'm gonna add a square power window. And you'll see when I add that, the power window, the area inside is giving me the ability to create these areas of transparency. And I'm gonna invert this because I wanna actually keep more of my original image and it's easier to sort of adjust this for what I wanna composite over this area, this black area here on the edge. And I'm just gonna drag and make some adjustments to this. So I basically just want to place this power window over the area that I'm going to adjust. I might zoom out a little just so I can a little more space here to do this. And now you'll see, of course, the image once again is empty. And that's because in my second image, when I sort of copied and pasted the look from my original image, it obviously matched all of the settings, which included the sizing settings. So it shifted the image out of the way. So this image also now has this space. So I just need to resize this image. And then I need to adjust the zoom, make it a little bit larger. Now if I kind of go back here and look at my image, I can see both images at the same time. That's sort of my final composite. And actually if I go back into the conform panel, maybe what I'll do to make this a little more obvious is just adjust these so that the clips are the same length. And so really all I need to do now is just adjust this panel so that it lines up with my other panels here. And to do that, I'm just gonna go back again to my sizing panels. And you'll see that obviously this panel is a lot smaller than the other panels, so I'm just gonna zoom in until it seems about right. Until they match. And also you notice that this panel its rotation is a little bit different, so I'm just going to rotate the panel until it matches. And there we go, that looks pretty good for sizing and positioning. I might tilt it up just a little bit, zoom a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. Of course, I spent a lot more time finagling this into place and making it match in the actual video that I'm going to in this tutorial. But the next big thing we need to deal with besides sort of the sizing is the color of the panel. And that's a pretty easy adjustment. So I'm just gonna go back into my primary balance node and I'm just gonna sort of use the three-way color corrector and the color wheels to adjust this so that it matches the other panel. And one great thing is if we actually bring back the scopes here and we take a look at the scopes, you can sort of see where our original image is and then where we added on this other panel. And just by looking at this information, we can kind of tell that the panel is a lot brighter than our original panel. And so we can use this information to help us bring our new panel sort of back in line and back in balance with the other panels that we have in our shot. And so to do that, I'm just gonna bring the gain down and you'll see that part of the image sort of slides into place. And, you know, you can do a little adjustment to have it fit. And that sort of solves the issue that we were having with our shot not being quite wide enough. And one thing I also did to sort of have this match a little bit better was in the power window, I kind of got rid of the blur altogether um, so it was just sort of a hard edge. And so that's how the spaceship look was created in the Bird by Gully music video. Now this was the only shot that I had to do sort of the compositing with with the alpha channel, but I thought that might be an interesting technique to show you and something that you might find use for in your own work. So if we just take a quick look at the before and the after, this is where we started and this is where we ended up. And so as you can see, we've actually done quite a bit of adjustment to this image, especially with the background, to really create a very specific look. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.